Greetings, my name is Sammy Typer and welcome to Acervo Season 3, Episode 3, Abyss of Fog. The unknowable and unimaginable implant fear in most people. An illogical fear that avoids all things that are new, though many things deserve and should be fear. However, the unknown, especially while we are safe from cosmic horrors in our little rock in space, is a special case. The unknown can be justified in situations of pure incomprehensibility, as the one I shall present. The mighty plateau spreads to the totality. Its deep, dark, grey floor prohibits the permanence of living things. The violent ground disintegrates all roots and holes carved onto it. The pure essence of rage forms this ground. All things that once might have been here have perished. They have rotten and contorted. They have dried and collapsed onto themselves. The compact and incredibly dense remains act as a current ground. Though as aggressive and violent as it is, the ground is safe and almost homely. It prevents things from falling down into infinity. The floor's aggressiveness can be ignored as a minor inconvenience in such an environment that is completely hostile. The sky presents itself in a transient state. Its calmest backdrop shines like glitter. The area with more movement can be perceived as a crumpled piece of tinfoil making horrid noises that drown out the atmosphere. In brief, unpredictable bursts, tears open across the sky, revealing a raging formation struggling to maintain itself and its form. It resembles rapidly accelerating static from a broken screen, and likewise produces a drowning noise that makes it feel as if everything has halted. Disorienting as the flashes last long or short and tear wide or small the fabric of the sky. They occur in locations far and close, a terror of surround sound used to inflict torture upon any unfortunate soul that found itself within this place. Another body roams around the sky. Invisible shells of distortion set the environment into chaos. The sky twists and turns unnaturally, as if a singularity projects itself perpendicularly to the plane of the sky. It amplifies the sounds. It convulses the texture and propagates streams of unimaginably warm and cold air, humid and dry, as if they were God enacting climate vengeance upon his creation. The horizon forms a stark divide between the chaotic sky and the still ground. Each is uninviting in their own way, yet share the violence and hostility of this environment. However, these two are not the sole aspects of this place. There is an edge to the ground. A cliff forms along with jagged edges. The abyss reaches an infinite depth. It is impossible to discover what lies beyond. The only thing to do is to postulate. A thick, light grey and white fog fills the volume beyond the cliff. Unlike the sky and ground, this fog does not present itself with any violence. A clear break from its surroundings, the fog is calm and welcoming. The slow, swirling white and grey brings a comfortable trance. It promises rest and relief to any that shall walk over the edge of this dark, dark ground. Although, 
If one were attentive and stopped right before the cliff, they shall notice the edges of the ground bearing some black twisting contours. These contours form bony devilish hands ready to grab at any unfortunate soul that takes the plunge. The ground isn't still. It is as alive as the welcoming fog and the chaotic sky. It waits and waits just for the right moment to manifest itself in a discreet way that those who have not shaken off the trance won't perceive. They are all working together to ensure suffering. Nothing is safe. The ground is lifelessness. The sky is hostile and full of elements to disorient anything, and the fog is a misleading liar. As this fog works directly in tandem with the ground, it promises safety, but in reality, feeds the hungry dimension. To anyone who has realized the true extent of the terrible situation, it is inevitable that a breakdown shall ensue as the grip on reality falters. The anxiety, nausea and panic finally dawn as the realizations are had. There is no safety. This hostile environment wants you dead. There is no escape, only something to trick the desperate into meeting their doom. As all sanity vanishes, there are few things left to do. Run away in the hope of finding an exit that might not even be there, or the other most dreaded option fit for none. Not even the hopeless should consider pursuing as the sheer thought of it goes against the instinct to preserve ourselves. There are all reservations and considerations to be had, but to be in this environment as it is in its current state presents no alternative. A plunge is taken, the comfort of the cloud-like fog is the first sensation, then slight tingling and whole branches of darkness tearing through proceed. That is the hypothetical for the imagined cliff, the horrid abyss of fog in the dimension of noise and despair. It is meant for all in the same way that everyone is perfect. That is to say, it is made for none. No torture of such a hostile environment in such dire circumstances can exist. It should never be allowed to exist. In the end of the day, the greatest comfort to be had is that this environment remains trapped inside a story. I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Summitiper, and thank you so much for watching.